there was, what did the glucose group look like? What did the carbohydrate group look like that was different from the protein group? Because you gave one group that was how many? 30 grams? Yeah, the original studies were 30. They, um, now the recommendation is 40. And 40 gram bolus seems to be um, primarily because you're you're trying to sustain a heightened muscle protein synthesis for a longer period yeah. of time, like seven, eight hours. Most of the daytime feeding studies are like measuring for maybe three or four hours. So it's a it's a larger bolus at that period of time. Um, I'm sorry, what was the question? Oh, it was uh, like, you know, what did you really see? Like how much of a difference was there between the oh. glucose group and the protein group? Yeah, so um, it depends on the metric we were looking at and what other people have done in their designs. Um, in our original studies, the RQ value, so fat oxidation, and this wasn't statistically significant, but if you had the carbohydrates or the whey, you were slightly higher in RQ, meaning less fat oxidation. Yeah. So that was the difference between casein. Um, there's been several studies now looking at specifically muscle protein synthesis and doesn't seem to be a difference between whey and casein, by the way, just so your audience knows they can choose whichever one they like for that outcome. And in the other sides of that, um, we uh, some of them don't give a carbohydrate placebo. They just give a water placebo. So it's hard to compare yeah. what that's actually doing. Um, in the sleep outcomes so far, carbohydrates in a lower dose, we're talking 30, 40 bolus here, um, a gram bolus, no difference in sleep outcomes.